All right, today I need to do a disassembly of some front forks off a 1974 Honda MR50. And I'm gonna start by taking the bottom screw off. It's a Phillips, it's a wide Phillips though. I think they call it a number three. And it's down in there. This is a finely restored MR50 that I found on the internet. Just to give you an example of what this bike looks like all together. All right, I got that screw out. Now I'm going to take and clean out the uh, top of the tube here and get a hold of the snap ring that's in here. I use a pair of needle nose pliers that I've fined out the ends of a little bit to make them get in the holes a little better. And basically just got to work and get a hold of them and try to get a pick underneath the other side and prop them up. Did finally get a hold of it. And there it goes. Take that off. And then I'm going to clean out some more of this gunk in here just to break any seal that's in there as much as possible with the trash. Get a little vise here, put the bottom end down in the vise. And I'm going to give it a couple quick pulls. And hopefully it'll come out of there. Breaks that oil seal. There's a spring. I'm gonna take the oil seal off. Take the spacer off. And then we're gonna take the damper out. It's just floating in there. take this end piece off. And this is another snap ring. It's a little more difficult. It's, it's the kind that doesn't have actual holes. It has just notches where you got to get your pliers or snap ring puller down into. Same basic deal though. Spread it apart. Try to get a pick underneath of it and pull it above the groove. Succession of screwdrivers to just pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Make a fatal mistake right here in just a second, though. See, I got my body in the direction that the spring's going to go. In just a second, I'm going to move. And that was a stupid mistake. And then it went flying. I did find it, though. If my body was in front of it, it had probably landed on the table. Another spacer there. Now, this next part, you don't have to do if you're just cleaning them out or replacing the seals or whatever. Uh, but if you're replacing the fork tubes, you will need, you will need these next rings. Uh, these are what those spacers sit on. They're just, they're not really snap rings. They're more just pieces of spring steel that create a, a notch there where the spacers sit. And they're not too difficult, although the bottom one you have to go, you have to work it out of both grooves because it, once you get it out of the bottom one, it'll fall into the next one, and then you got to work it out. So, double your double. Your. There it goes, and that is basically it. Here's all the parts. Give them a good clean and inspect them, and see if they're any good. And uh, once again, guys, thanks for watching, and. Uh, I got more coming, so subscribe, like, comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.